Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Books and Bobs. My name is Rob and today I am bringing you my July book haul and a little bit of an unboxing video. Oh, I forgot I'm wearing my stethoscope. What? This old thing? Oh. <laughs> so I have a total of 13 books to show you today so I think it's about time that without further ado, let's get started. So we are going to start with the unboxing part of the video. I definitely want to get started with this so Firstly, I'm gonna pick the bigger box. So we're gonna start with the the first big box. I'm so excited, even though I know what's in here. I'm so excited to find out what's in here. And ooh. so in the bigger box, there are two books that I'm gonna show you. The first one is a collection of manga, and it is volumes four, five, and six of Neon Genesis Code Evangelion. Now, I started reading the first three volumes that I bought many, many, like I bought them so long ago, and I finally just started reading them. So I said I'd pick up four, five, and six because I was enjoying one, two, and three so much, where these monsters that they call angels attack Japan and destroy the old Japan. So now the new Japan is kind of living underground, and they set up these evangelions, these mechas that are piloted by 14 to 15 year olds, and they're able to actually control these machines while inside them and fight off these angels and save Neo Tokyo. In the same package I got the second book which is The Wrath and the Dawn by Rene Adier and I'm sure you've seen this around booktube. Uh, apparently this is an Arabian Nights retelling where we have the prince or king of a kingdom who takes a woman every night and in the morning has them killed and our main character is one of these women who volunteers with the intention of killing the king or the prince. I'm not entirely sure how it works out. And I was really interested in, in it when I heard everyone else on YouTube uh, describing it and telling the story. And the fact that it is an Arabian Nights retelling has me really interested as well. It's um, supposed to be kind of high fantasy as well. There's a lot of magic in it. So the minute that someone said that, I was like, I'm done, I'm sold, I'm getting it. And of course I got the hardback for a change. Usually I prefer paperbacks, but something about the hardback really had me, you know, interested. And what I love are the serrated edges as well on the pages. So really excited to get to this. I think it will be one of the next books that I pick up. The next unboxing is just a small little package and it is not one of my favorites to open, but I will go for it anyway. As you can tell, I am terrible already at opening packages. Oh yes, I'm so excited for this. So the next book is the paperback copy of More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. Now I have not been able to find this in my local bookshops at all. I think so far it's only an American release because I've went in and asked and they said it's not out in the UK yet but I have heard fantastic things about this book and this author so I decided to pick up this. Ooh, and I got a bookmark. I love the bookmark. I've heard fantastic things about this book and I'm so excited to read it. I'm not really sure what it's totally about. I have not read the blurb on the back yet, but the only thing that I know is I've heard people say that it will tug at your heartstrings and break you. And I'm kind of in the mood for that at the moment. I'm kind of in the mood to get invested into something and for it to kind of build me up and break me down. Um, which says something odd about me, but um, I'm so excited to read this. This is definitely, I'm, I'm reading this straight away. And the final book that I have in my unboxing is in my favorite type of package. And I know what book this is already, um, but I'm still excited anyway. So the next book that I have is The Great American Whatever by Tim Federl. Now, the reason that I purchased this book is I know that it is an LGBT novel, as well as I think uh, More Happy Than Not. And I'm in interested in reading more of these books, but also because Peter Mann over at Peter Likes Books contacted me and uh, asked me whether I'd be interested in doing a buddy read in August. So of course I said yes because I love Peter and I'll leave his uh, link to his channel, not down below, but over in the eye. Um, so you'll see that up there. I think it's on the left side. If you haven't watched any of his videos yet, go watch him. He gave me a shout out and I'm giving him a shout out because I love all his videos. He's just so energetic and he, I find him really entertaining. He contacted me and asked me would I like to do a buddy read and we kind of settled on this book so I said I will pick it up straight away and uh, I'll wait for him to get the book and we'll do be doing it sometime in the middle of August so expect uh, a video with a review about it and maybe thoughts if you follow me on Goodreads I'll leave my link down below I'm more likely to update what I think about the book while I go through it. So I'm very excited to get onto this, but I won't be hitting it until maybe mid-August whenever Peter gets the book as well. So Peter, if you're watching this, get the book ASAP because I'm really excited to read this and I'm really excited to try and work out our buddy reads. And if it goes well in August, 
we should do one maybe every month, okay? <laughs> now on to the other books that I bought this month. And as you know, I started a new job this month and I got paid my first paycheck last Thursday. So I did go a little crazy in buying books. Um, my splurge for myself was those four books from the book depository, but I ended up picking up many, many more books in the meantime. And the first books that I'm gonna tell you about, uh, you've seen on my channel before, or at least you've seen the first few books in the series on my channel before, and that is Naruto, and I got volumes 10, 11, 12, and 13, 14, and 15. And I also have, if I'm on 10, 11, 12, 7, 8, and 9 on my shelf, they're ready to read. So I have a lot of Naruto to get through. The next book that I got in July is In Order to Live by Yomi Park, and this is an autobiography. I was in Eason's and I decided to just pick this up because I saw it was buy one get one half price. And I was like, I feel like reading an autobiography or something a little different. And I had seen Yomi before when she talked, I think it was at the UN or it was either at a teen kind of meeting and I know it was in Dublin. And it was just her story about her escaping from North Korea into China and then all the way back into South Korea to get her freedom. And it was just a compelling, it's just a compelling story about her dealing with human trafficking and everything like that. I have obviously already finished this book and I'm really tempted to do a review on it. If not, you'll see it in my wrap up which will be coming up soon and I'll talk a bit more about it. But I loved this book when I bought it and I flew through it. So I need to haul it before I can wrap it up. The next book that I got with In Order To Live when I bought it because it was buy one get one half price is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. Now, I have heard a lot about this. Obviously, it is everywhere on booktube as well. And this is kind of, it, it strikes me as a Red Rising kind of story, except from a female perspective. Now, if you haven't seen my channel before, Red Rising is a story by Pierce Brown where you have these people who are designated by color as well. And um, they, the reds are the lowest of the low and they climb to the top. Whereas in Red Queen, I think they're designated by their blood type or by, by their blood color or their abilities. I'm not exactly sure, but it does strike me as kind of a Red Rising story. And if Victoria Aveyard is anywhere as good as telling a story like Pierce Brown, I just know I'm gonna love this. The next book that I got, I had to pick up in Waterstones, which is my favorite bookshop in Ireland. If you've ever been into a Waterstones, oh my God, like those shops are just just amazing but I went to Cork recently and I had to pick up you know I had to go into Waterstones and you can't go into Waterstones in Cork without picking up a book and I saw this book and I was like okay I'm getting it because it was in my TBR for a buddy read I had the e version of it but I actually never got around to it and Sam from Thoughts on Tomes I'll leave her channel up in the eye as well she's one of my favorite booktubers to watch loves this book so I decided you know like if Sam likes this book I am gonna have to get it and read it and that is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Now can we all just take a second and appreciate this cover because it is gorgeous just you know just just look at it it's it's gorgeous. So basically we've got this dragon who lives nearby a town and all of the townspeople are absolutely terrified of it because this dragon takes a girl from the town every time um, maybe once a month, maybe once a year, I'm not too sure. And they're never seen again, whether they're eaten, whether they're killed, we're not sure. But um, the main story revolves around this dragon and I'm not sure about much else that happens in this book, but it is definitely a fantasy novel and I'm 100% gonna pick this up in my next like two to three books. I'm so excited for this book and I really wanna get around to it. So I'm very happy to haul this right now. The next book was kind of a treat for myself. I bought it on my first day work in Eason's in Ennis where I'm now working in County Clare in Ireland and I just saw it and I was like you know what I deserve a treat today because it was my first day of work and the best books or author to buy when you are treating yourself is of course Brandon Sanderson so I bought one of his Reckoners novels which is Steelheart it's the first novel in the Reckoners series and I have read maybe about 10 to 20 pages of this while I was walking to my car after work and it seems like if you've ever seen the Disney film Incredibles, I don't know why, but that just kind of like jumps to my head when I'm thinking about this book. Basically, these people called epics, they have these random abilities that they're able to do. And in the first uh, 10 pages, we see this epic who can literally point to people and turn them to dust. So everyone has kind of these epic powers and it's about our main character. And I'm really not sure 
whether it's kind of like an Avenge story or maybe he's just getting back at the epics or something. But I feel like the um, just from reading it, the Reckoners are kind of the people who go around corralling the epics. And it sounds amazing. And of course, it's Brandon Sanderson. And who doesn't love Brandon Sanderson? So I'm so excited to get to this. I think I'll read The Reckoners before I read The, Re the Way of Kings. So this should be in maybe a wrap-up or a TBR soon. The next book that I'm going to haul is The Great Hunt by Robert Jordan. And anyone who's been on my channel knows that I am making my way slowly through the Wheel of Time series. I'm about, like, not even... I wouldn't even say a third, I'm like about a 20th of the way through The Eye of the World. But I did read New Spring, which is the prologue to the entire series recently, and loved it. And it just made me really want to carry on with the series. So in anticipation of finishing The Eye of the World sometime in the future, I decided I'd pick up The Great Hunt. If I just sit down and read The Eye of the World, I could probably get it finished, but that ain't going to happen anytime soon, okay? These are like chunky, very, very chunky, and small writing as well, so it's going to take a while. The next Next book that I am going to haul you will probably not have seen on very many YouTube channels before because I was sent this as a pre-release review copy by the author and she contacted me I'd say in early June about doing a review for this book and sending me the e-version but when I actually contacted her she told me that the hard copy of the book was available from her UK publishers and she had them send it to me. But unfortunately, it came a bit late, so I did not get it in time to do a review and have it up for the US release date, but I'm planning on having a review up for it before the 11th of August, which is the UK release date. And that is The Summer That Melted Everything by Tiffany McDaniel. She was nice enough to just email me, say, hey, would you like a free book? And I was like, yes, yes, I would like a free book. And she was like, well, here's a free book, and if you wouldn't mind putting up a review on your channel, at the same time I would appreciate it and of course I am going to oblige her and I promise Tiffany I will have this up before the 11th of August and the second last book that I'm going to haul in this book haul is of course Harry Potter and the Cursed Child now of course everyone has been talking about this everyone and their mother knows that this is the newest Harry Potter play and living in Ireland I feel like I'm graced with the opportunity to you know, go to the UK sometime soon and hopefully get tickets. Very happy that this came out and of course I had to buy it on the day. Actually, my boyfriend bought it for me and then I paid for it, paid him for it later on. But I was just making sure that they did not sell out of this bad boy before I got a chance to buy it because, you know, I was, I was busy. I was busy when it came out, but yes. So thank you, Pa. I will, I've already paid you for it. So look, there's your shout out. He will be very mortified that I shouted out him out in a video. That's if he still watches them, I'm not even sure. Anyway, and the final book or like group of comics that I'm gonna haul for July is Extraordinary X-Men by Jeff Lemire. And I have actually already read these. I get the comics every week on my iPad and I have read the first six, but of course, I want to get all the, you know, the bind-ups because I like me some X-Men's, if you didn't know, and I like collecting them. So I'm very, very happy to have the first six issues of this arc. Now, it's not fantastic. I will admit that it's not the best X-Men story that has ever been, but I do really appreciate the artwork. I mean, Storm is boss in this, as you can see from the cover. I really just like actually having the bind-up of it and the physical copy as opposed to just having it on my iPad because, you know, I'm a bit of a collector when it comes to X-Men comics so I'm really happy to haul this as well so yes people that is my July book haul I really hope you enjoyed the video um, it might be a bit long but I'll try and edit it down a tiny bit that is all the books that I bought in July and yes I did go on another bit of a binge but whatever you know like I has a bit of money now so I'm allowed to treat myself if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you would like to fill uh, uh, if you would like to follow me on my social media I'll leave all the links down below that is my good wits bleh, I cannot talk today I will leave the links all down below that is my goodreads Twitter and Instagram go follow me there I try and update as much as I can I'd say I'm more active on goodreads than anything else so if you want to know what I'm reading go down below and I will see you all again in another video quite soon okay goodbye